All right. I'm going to play an NES game here. It's called Mickey Mouse. I think it's called Mickey uh, Mouse Capade. It's a it's an interesting game. I actually played this not too long ago. And I have beaten it. And it did took me two hours. Because it was my first time playing this. But as I, you know, played through it, I got a little bit better. And I know where most of the stuff is at. But yeah, that's a... Let's go. I mean... It's, it's not... It's a pretty good... It's... No, it's a good NES game. I'll show you it. Let's just go. There are no continues in this game, but that was okay. Ready? Oh! Come in, Mickey! I really don't know much of the story, but I know the ending and stuff, but... So, this is how you first start off. Basically, no weapons. For now. First time you play this, you will probably struggle through it. I struggled through it, I'll tell you that for sure. I got game over like maybe a couple of times, but... What we need to do... First, you gotta avoid that. Is get a weapon, and there's our star. Now we can shoot stars. There is a lot of secrets in this game. You can find a lot of cool stuff. Hidden items and everything else. That's a cake that will fill up your health. Your health bar is up. I think every level you complete increases. I don't think it's based on a point value or something. I don't know. Like, yeah. But yeah, you can find secrets in everything. I'll show you. Let's, let's find one if we can. Let's see what we got here. Um, right now, no secrets. You'll know when you uh, when you find a secret because it'll make some kind of dingy noise or something. I'll tell you one thing: when Mickey Mouse shoots those stars, it sounds like the fireballs from Super Mario Brothers. All right, no secret here. So what we need to do? We need to get a key. Oh, here's a little secret right here. Oh. So, there's something in this window. Let's shoot the window here. And... Oh. Okay, well, thank you for the diamond. That's not where we're going at. There's two secrets here. The red diamond is actually really good, because it fills up all your... There's a one-up! Yay! Now, some of the secrets you find, they can lead to bad stuff. I'm gonna try to show that off. But yeah, you got some annoying enemies, bullets, and everything. But it's a really decent game. Okay, so we just got a key, now we can enter, uh, the upper door. I mean, so it's not a bad game. It's a very short game, though. Yes, you only get five. Okay, now here's something here, or it could be that. Another diamond. Basically, the red diamond will give you full health, as the blue diamond kills all the enemies, I think. Let's see if I can find more. Cake gives you a couple health bars. Let's see. Oh, here we go. Alright. Another diamond. I'm gonna find a fairy around here. There is a fairy that will give you invincibility for some time. Oh, I just got hit. But, you know, we can take the hits. So you gotta, like, shoot around the walls and there. Oh, wait. Alright, I'm, I'm getting a lot of diamonds here. Alright, so I gotta beat this boss. This game, basically, you may have to damage rush to your through it and stuff. I mean, you have to take damage to beat some of the bosses. I mean, that's how it is. The bosses are not bad in this game. They're actually pretty short. Now, these brooms, you only can kill them when you hit the, their um, handles. Kind of be very annoying. Oh, here we go. Let's see what a secret this is. Okay, another diamond. They're giving me a lot of red diamonds. <laughs> Items are like randomized too. Like it's it's always different sometimes. Except the one-up placements. The one-up placements are actually different. Alright, well, if we go in here, we can get another power-up, but it's somewhat random. Like there's times where I can get a power-up for mini, that way I have a double shot, but other times it just, you know. It doesn't come out. Now, you can't clear this level without the double shot, I think. Why would you do that? You want this double shot. Alright, let's see if it is an enemy. Yep, it's an enemy. So, I, I just keep going back and forth until, you know, you give me the star, because I, I don't know what triggers it. I don't know if I have to beat the boss or what, but... 
they, now it's a star. There's times where it takes five times to do that, and it's so freaking weird. I'll believe that. The good news is, there is no time limit in this game, so I can take my sweet time. But now, since I got a star, now I can shoot two stars. Because Mini has a weapon as well. Very useful. Can't kill those spiders until they move down. Alright, so what we need to do is now head down and face the boss. There we go. I want to show you that. Little, oh, what? Oh, that's not safe. Oh, here's the window. And uh, that always gets me. It's so confusing. Another diamond. Well, thank you, game. But yeah, you want to shoot walls and everything, reveal secrets. But like I said, some of the secrets, especially in the stage, like in your castle areas, will lead to bad stuff. Alright, we're getting close to the boss here. Oh. There we go. Another diamond. I'm surprised you're not spawning the bad enemies. So basically, your main character is Mickey. You control Mickey and Minnie, but your main character, your main hitbox is Mickey. So if an enemy comes around your Minnie, she, you won't take damage. She's like invincible. And I'll show you. I want to take care of this uh, witch, but you know what? I may take damage, so if I can time it right. Hold up. Come on, Minnie. Oh, what's going on? Mini! Do it. Mini! I've done this before. It's not working anymore. Come on, I know you want to do it. Stay on the ladder. There we go. Get her! Or get the witch! See? I won't take no damage as many. Go for the kill. And there you go. Unfortunately, you cannot make progress until you have both of them. So if I leave many behind, I won't be able to move forward. And there's the key, and we can exit this stage. So let's try to find that one secret, that one bad item. I want to show you it. And it's pretty annoying. But the game is being nice to me now. <laughs> Ooh, that was close. Again, this did took me first time. Oh, here we go. Maybe that's uh... No, it's another diamond. They keep giving me a lot of red diamonds. I'm having a good collection here. I'll tell you that for sure. All the diamonds. Alright, that was some piece of cake. Oh, here we go. Another diamond. I'm trying to hit all the secrets, and they're not giving me what I want. Well, they're giving me what I want. Oh, wait, is there another secret here? So we got here. Another red diamond. I'm getting so many red diamonds. Let's take damage here. Yeah. Oh, nice. The blue diamond will kill all the enemies. Unfortunately, I wasted it. Man, I want to sh show this off, at least. Okay. Oh, nothing there. We gotta get rid of these brooms. It's gonna remind me of Fantasia by the Genesis, which is not a good game. Oh, wait. There's a secret here. You'll hear that. Ding, ding. Oh, there it is. Another red diamond. Okay. Look at those red diamonds. And a bird that is literally crafted. <laughs> there are more one-ups in this game. I have found a couple before, so I hope I can beat this game. I think I can. I'm trying to jump around. Like, yep, jump around and shoot the wall, shoot the windows. I'm not gonna show you it. Alright, well, we're just gonna climb down this ladder and kill these enemies. So we have cleared everything. Yeah! Another red diamond! 
What's in this window? Okay, well that's the fairy. That's the good one. It gives you invincibility for a bit. So there you go. Oh, wrong way. And there she goes. Man, I really want to show this off. I really do. Now I don't want to show it off the final cage, uh, the final statue or whatever, because um. Final statue, the final castle. It's kind of annoying. Kind of. I don't know. Let's see if I can find that bonus area. They're not bonus area, but they're just giving me diamonds. They're just giving me diamonds. Well, this is where you need the key for. At the very end, right here, and that would be the end of the stage. But again, I want to show off this one little thing. This is kind of trollish. So I'm going to try to play some more of this level here. Come on. Ow. One time, I... Oh, there it is! So, sometimes, if you hit some kind of secret, a crow will take Minnie away. Which means, I cannot exit the stage, I have to go to a bonus room, and I gotta rescue her. Which can be annoying sometimes. For example, if I want to ex exit, oh, too bad, where's Minnie? You gotta find Minnie, so I want to exit. There's the exit right there, but you can't exit, because Minnie... Minnie is missing. She needs to be found. So that means I gotta go and I gotta, you know, shoot through wall, shoot around the walls and windows and everything. So here's a window here. There's a key. So we go inside here and you have four choices. If you choose wrong, well, we gotta find another one. And that I chose wrong, so great. It can be annoying though. Sometimes it does respawn it back, but most of the time you gotta find another room. So I cannot exit this until I find Minnie. And it's always this it's always different. It's always a different spot every time. Oh, there's another one. Alright, let's try over here. Maybe maybe here? Nope, I failed. Minnie's gone forever. Oh, wait a minute. Alright, what about this? Let's just try somewhere around here. We're gonna find Minnie. There she is! Alright, we finally found her, and now we can exit the stage. If I could do this jumping, right? Uh oh. Now we're gonna deal with this. Oh, jeez. You gotta make sure she's synced well with you, or else, uh, it's gonna be hard trying to get back these platforms. Oh, Minnie! Oh man, it's annoying now. I can't believe this. Okay, hold on. Up here, up here. Nope, that's not gonna work. Alright, wait. There we go. Okay, I made it. Okay, now we can just exit. I just want to show you that off. But yeah, that, that can happen. Only happens in stage, this stage, and the final stage, though. So now we can exit. To the ocean. Ready? Come in, Mickey. I might get other voices. Okay, this stage can be a bit difficult. I mean, I had a hard time with this stage, I'll tell you that for sure, but not as bad. Especially there's a fairy. Sometimes it does spawn the fairy, other times it does not. There's enemies everywhere, and there's these blades. That's where the fairy was at. This time the game's not giving me the fairy, which freaking sucks, because it would be in this cloud here, and it's not. Sometimes the items appear, other times it's like, nope, sorry. So now I'm gunning it alone. 
The wave can be hard to dodge, but which, no, well, I'm gonna die here. Unless one of these enemies, there we go. Sometimes the enemies will drop you these wonderful red diamonds that will fill up all your health. I thought there was a fairy. Come on, where's that fairy? Now I gotta be careful and make sure I make the jump for Mickey and Minnie. If Minnie doesn't make the jump and she falls in, I'm dead too. Oh wait, I know what this is. This is the yellow diamond. I don't know what the yellow diamonds are. I guess it just fills up most of your health. Oh god. Oh no. Okay. Alright, I guess. Oh, watch out for the blue jellyfish. I don't want to always get to it. Okay, well, this boss can be tough, but I think I can just screw him over because he does not take that many hits, and he's dead. That's it. The bosses are actually pretty weak in this game. Now we're- now- the what? This stage took me probably 40 minutes the first time I played this because there's so many tricky doors and everywhere. So basically what you need to do, you need to find the right path to advance to this stage. And it, it, it took me a while until I realized there are hidden, hidden doors in some of these trees. I mean, it's craziness. Like, you could go in any of these doors, but sometimes, if you go in the wrong door, it will send you back to the start of the stage. And that sucks. Also, sometimes fairies, but nope, no fairies here. These mushrooms need to go. But now, the good news is, I know my way, so... Yeah, I think I know a shorter way, to be honest, because I found a shortcut way. Oh, wait! Is this a fairy? I think it's a fairy. Yay! Okay. Alright, I right here we need to go we need to shoot this and it'll reveal a secret door. And now we advance. These things can do a lot of damage, especially if you hit their body, my gosh. But yeah, this one was a little tricky until I realized, oh there's a hidden door. These enemies are annoying. But yeah. But uh it's a pretty decent NES game. It does have some challenge, especially the first time you play through, but once you know where you're doing, it's not that hard, actually. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. Oh, okay. That sucks. So, okay, well, if I die at a certain point, that's fine. I need a crystal. Now. So now we gotta go in this one. And this will lead here. Now, the exit is right here, but the game forces you to loop around. Like, this is where the exit is, but I can't go in because the game wants me to loop around. If you go in any other doors, they'll send you back to the beginning. It's so devilish. Oh, wait. Oh, there we go. I got a fairy here. I need a crystal. I need a diamond. Okay, let's go. Come on, someone give me a diamond. Give me a red diamond, please. I need a red diamond. Oh, give me it! Yeah, I got the red diamond. All right, thank you so much. Full health. Got hit there, but that's okay. Oh, gosh. Thank goodness I found that. Okay, another red diamond. Okay, yeah, but I gotta force my way through this. That's all right. That's all good. Now, there is this door right here. But you, if I go in it, I just get sent to the start. So it's, it's basically a, a, a troll door. That's not the real door. The real door, of course, if you move too far, you, you literally loop around. But they want me to do this. Now, I can activate this exit. And there we go. And now we're actually out of the, the forest of illusion now. And now I've cracked... I think there are one off. There's a one off I can get here. It's mushroom damage. It's not beating me now. Who was that mushroom? Oh, gosh. I got him. Wait. I need that one up somewhere. Where are these things? Oh, give me that red crystal. Yes. Alright, I think this is, yeah, this is where the one up's at. This is where I believe the one up's at, right here. Excellent. Okay, so far so good. 
Another red crystal, full health. Can you give me a fairy? I don't think you're going to. Wait a minute. Here's the fairy. If I can play my card... Oh, that's not a fairy. That's a yellow diamond, actually. Alright, well, hopefully I can beat this one boss here. I'm just gonna skip around. Screw it. I made it! This guy... can be annoying, but hopefully I... Then he killed me, because he's moving around. <sighs> you gotta be kidding me. Okay, whatever. Fine. Freaking snake boss. You gotta be serious. Oh, wait. What? Oh, is this... Is, now this is probably gonna be a fairy, right? Okay, we got a fairy. Awesome. You gotta be careful, though. We don't wanna fall in these gaps. Okay, freaking snake boss. Oh, I just got a crystal! Is that... Oh! Nope, I just ruined that. Alright, well... Oh my gosh, please. I don't want to have trouble with level 3. I don't... I never have trouble with level 3. And I'm going to have trouble with level 3. I love that. Wow! Okay, sure. Oh, oh great. Two hit points. Wonderful. I'm not going to survive. I'm going to lose another life. Yep. Alright, well, I guess I'm having trouble level 3 now. Even though I never did before. I, I love when that happens. I think I'm good at the game, and then all of a sudden, this stuff happens. I, I, that just really ticks me off. Come on. Alright, come on now. Alright. And the items are so freaking random. Like, you may get the right item, other times you may not get the right item. That's alright, we got the red crystal. I just took some damage there. Oh my gosh, come on! Alright. Alright, come on. Can we beat this guy, please? Got him. Good. Alright. I'll accept, I'll accept it. Alright. Excellent. Pirate ship. This level is pretty short. It really is. It's a really short level. Okay, so you, yeah, you get pigeons. Pooping. These guys are freaking annoying. They move so fast and quick. Now these guys over here... Very annoying as well. Just take them down as quick as possible for the new damage. Don't worry about those two. Again, just do the same thing. And now for this guy, just skip. And we're already at the boss. Here he is. It's uh, Peg Leg Pete. He could go down easily, actually. Come on, get him, get him. Get him. Got him. Good. All right. Final level. Already in the final stage. I hate that I lost uh, two lives in that third stage, though. All right, so this is it. Final, the final level to the castle now. This one can be very tough, especially if you don't know where you're going. You, oh, I hate these guys. These guys are so annoying. They home at you. The good news, there are. Uh, see, now I don't really want to hit these secrets thing because they may lead to. Those crows are going to be back that will take me away. That could be very annoying. If no, I said, let me the red crystal. Thank you. And now I got to time these jumps with Mini. Goodness is, I don't have a time limit. So, what we need to do, we need to go up here first. We got to get a key. If we don't have the key, we can't enter the final boss. Okay. Now, watch out for dragonflies and everything, you know? Windows, uh, I don't want to. Especially if it'll lead to a crow that'll take away many. I don't like that. And that sucks to force damage. There's another thing there. Oh, there we go. Cake. So we gotta go in here. These things. Jeez. Oh, Alright, I'm out. Those yellow things, unkillable. You can't kill them. Alright, now, here's where the key's at. Stage could take a while if you don't know where you're going or so. It's not much of a maze. There's really not many paths, but still. Now I gotta time these jumps right here with Mini. It's gonna be a bit tricky, but 
Thank goodness there's no time limit. This would be really frustrating if there was a time limit. And that didn't work out well. Alright, hold up. Hold up. There we go. Okay, we gotta, we gotta get rid of these dragonflies. These dragonflies need to go. Okay, good. Yep. You know what? That's okay. I don't need many to get the key. We'll just go back. And yeah, there we go. Excellent. What are those things? It's weird. Okay, now we can enter the key. That you see that boss up top? That will lead to the final boss. Which is not bad. Gotta make my way through though. So I got a lot of hell. Oh, I can't make it because Minnie needs to be down here. Here we go. Okay. Then my card's right. I can actually get another one up in one of these rooms here. Be nice. In this room, get rid of these things, I don't know what they are. We go in here, we beat this guy. Just go, thank you. In here, we get a one up. Alright, nice. damage there, which sucks. As long as I make progress, it's all good. Don't want to be down here. And now I'm probably going to lose this life right off the bat. Which freaking sucks, because I know up above is, uh, the Pete. And, yeah, these things are... Yep, they just killed me. Great. So, I should start from down below. Freaking guys. Excellent. All right. And he's back, so fantastic. Oh no! Good news is you exit the room in time, they, you can escape from it. But yeah, we don't want that to happen. That would take away many, and then I have to search bonus areas just to find many. It, it, it can be annoying. All right, well I gotta get rid of Pete here. Not really much of a pattern, just try to get as much damage as possible. And he's dead, good. Now I may have to take a death, because... Yeah. Get rid of this peanut guy that's down below, that would be nice. That's where he'll lead to the... Okay, this is ridiculous. How am I supposed to pass this here? Okay, wait. I don't know. Oh, Alright, he won't come back. Now, if I enter that room, I will go to the final boss. If I lose to the final boss, I'll be sent to that room where I got that one key. And I don't want that to happen. If I die here, I'll go to the bottom. If I die here, they'll send me to the bottom here. So I'm just going to take it that. That way I can refill my health. So that's all good. I don't care. And good news is that boss does not come back. So here it is, the final boss. Let's go. And it's uh I don't know what her name is. Oh, right. Are you hitting her? I don't think I'm hitting her. Oh I got her! Don't hit me! Yes! Okay, good. And that's pretty much the game. That's it. Ooh, that was so close. Here it is. Here's the ending. Alice! I guess we were in Alice in Wonderland or so. That's pretty much it. <laughs> that's it. Basically, it just shows us one picture, and I think you press the start. End. There's nothing to it. So yeah, that was uh, Mickey Mouse Capade for the NES. I mean, it's it's an NES game. Like, 
It's a, it's good. It's not a classic. I don't know if uh, most people played it, but I played it, you know, struggled a bit, played two hours, and now I beat it in like around 20, 30 minutes. No big deal. It's a good game. I love it. That's all I have to show you. See you later.